high. So somebody called me special. Here's why. So there's old video. Probably seen it with the whole van thing. She didn't want to get in her van. Thought she was vicious. Asked somebody to come out with her. I don't think there was anything wrong with what she did. But I feel like the people in the comments were getting excessive with it. It's like they were basically making it seem like he was already guilty. And I feel like at the end of that video, she shouldn't have said the whole not today, you won't get somebody thing. Because people can't wait to assume somebody is guilty. Not saying that he's not guilty or what whatever like that. But her saying that fueled the fire because there wasn't enough evidence to prove anything. And I'm not saying that to say that she shouldn't have protected herself. She should have. Because some of y'all don't seem to listen to what people saying, so I gotta repeat that. The issue comes into where the people are talking about she should have got his face license plate posted all over the internet. And what I'm simply saying is that that's something that you have to be careful with. Because there's people who feel like they're justice, who want to be the white knights, whatever, and they'll cause people harm. And then you also have different situations where as someone can get falsely accused of something, it ends up on a record and it's extremely difficult to get it expunged. People hear about it, they hate that person, give that person a hard time, harm that person, then when later on they turn out to not be guilty or it turns out somebody lied on them or whatnot, those people aren't going to hear out that person's side of the story. They're not going to care. They're not going to give them the chance to explain themselves. They're not going to listen. And it's like, I'm not just pulling this out of thin air. This is stuff that's happened to people. And all I'm simply saying is that you have to be careful with how you approach that stuff. Not saying don't protect yourself, but you don't want to take that and throw out all of this stuff to the mob. People, a person can be smart, but people are stupid. People have this mob mentality. They get their pitchforks and torches and they just go out and do stuff and get angry without gathering all of the facts together. There just was not enough evidence. That there needs to be evidence that proves that he's out there doing that before you throw that out to everybody. Because people are just going to take it and they're going to run with it. And a lot of people get harmed. And it's not fair to innocent people for them to get harmed just because people are looking for a scapegoat. And that's why it's best to just think before you, sh you send something to the general audience. And mind you, I'm not saying you don't go on the internet and talk about, oh, you know, some dangerous thing happened or blah, say, blah, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's not where I'm coming from. I'm just coming from a place of sometimes you have to think about the other person. And this person means me no harm. What's going to happen to them? And then there's other things that come into play. So she felt like because she was a woman, she could have been kidnapped. The associate that went out to help her was a woman as well. She went to his side of the car to talk to him. She did it by herself. I mean, just... I mean, just, just think about that. Because... You know, some people made the whole thing, said the whole thing about, oh, if, if he sees two women, because one woman could run away screaming, then he wouldn't care. Well, I don't know. I'm not a kidnapper, but I would assume that if somebody was kidnapping people, they 
they wouldn't be alone, right? Because somebody has to drive and somebody has to deal with the hostages, right? And because, of course, you don't want the hostages to distract the driver or whatever, maybe escape, knock the driver's side of his head, whatever like that. So I'd assume that they wouldn't be alone. So then if it's, maybe if it's a group of women, but just one extra woman, it's debatable as to whether that would be enough to deter them. And then for her to go over there by herself, he might possibly be a regular there, just regularly doing that. I don't know. She might have regularly saw him. I like, uh, he's not dangerous. I see him here all the time. I'll go say something to him. And I'm not saying that's the case. But I'm saying that's a whole nother factor that you could have looked at. But you don't because you immediately want to jump to this conclusion that a person is guilty. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, people, if people don't experience something themselves, they don't have to go through certain things. They don't have to deal with people falsely accusing them of things or using the fact that they can say that you did something as a weapon against you for those people who've never dealt with things like that, it's easy for you to sit there and pretend that it doesn't exist and anybody who brings up something like that is stupid. Because that's just how this world works. It's always easy to turn a blind eye and ignore something. And once again, I will repeat this again because it seems like every time I say something, it's always people who ignore what I said. There is nothing wrong with what she did in her protecting herself. It's just the definitive statements and you have to be careful with what you give to the mobs because they run with that shit.